This is Red Feather from Grapax. In this credit video, we will be showing you the rudimentary of how to create patterns in Krita. Notice on my Krita canvas, this is a pattern I created and saved it as a pattern to the Krita fill pattern function. Then I have brought it in using the fill pattern function and added color to the background and to the different parts of the flowers. Let me clear my canvas so we can begin. Open Krita, go to File, click New, then click Create. Once your canvas appears, there are a few things to determine. The first thing, of course, is what will be the design you would like to use for your Krita pattern. And secondly, how many of these designs would you like to appear within your Krita pattern? For this example, for my pattern design, I will just use a square box for the first part of this video. Once you have created your design for your pattern, do any corrections at this time, like erasing or and or editing. Once this is done for your credit pattern design, Remember how I told you you would want to think about the number of your design to be used in your pattern. I have decided mine would be six for this example. Once you have determined this for your credit pattern, go to your layers. On the layer you created your design, for your pattern. Right click and scroll down to copy layer and click. On the same layer, right click, scroll down to paste and click continue pasting using the top layer until you have the number of designs to be used within your Krita pattern. Once this is done, in Krita, it is now time to put your designs for your pattern into placement. In the Krita layers, highlight the layer of the item that holds your design you would like to move, as they are at this time one on top of the other. Go to your Krita toolbox and click on the Move tool. Then go to your design on the Krita Canvas, grabbing your design, moving it to where you think you would like it to be. Once this is done in Krita, go back to Layers, highlight the layer of the next design to be moved, still being on the Move tool in the toolbox, Move the next design to where you would like it. Keep doing this in Krita until all the designs for your pattern are in place. Once this is done in Krita, you may decide the placement of your design is not quite in the right placement and wish to move them around. Notice I am going to attempt to move the fifth center design box of my Krita pattern. But I am actually moving the number six because in the layers window, I have six highlighted. Let me correct this. Once you are finished moving your designs around and have proper placement and you like it, then it is time to save your work. In order to make it a pattern 
and bring it into the Krita fill pattern function. Go to File, scroll down to Export, and click. When the Export window appears in the Look in search bar, navigate to where you would like to save it to. Then, in the file name area, give it a name, then click on the Files of Type drop down arrow, scroll down to PNG, and click. And then, click Save. When the next window appears, click OK. For best results, I suggest to close and reopen Krita, depending on your system. But for this example, I will just clear the canvas. Once this is done in Krita, create a new canvas. Once your new canvas appears, go to Fill Patterns and click. When the Fill Patterns window appears, go down to the File Location Icon folder and click. Navigate to where you saved your pattern to and click on it. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the Fill Pattern and click. And navigate to your pattern. Once you find your pattern, Click on it, so as you uh, so as you see it in the Krita Fill Pattern Preview window. Depending on how many designs are in your pattern, you may need to scroll left or right, in or up, and down to see it. Once this is done in Krita, off-click the Fill Patterns window. Go to your toolbox and click the Paint Bucket icon. Then click on the Tools Options, scroll down to the box that says Use Pattern, and put a check mark in it. Then go to the canvas and click. Now that you have your new Krita pattern on the canvas, you can add colors and use your created pattern anytime you need to. Or you can use one of the default patterns of Krita. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.